All right, guys, here we are at simu.info. The link to this page will be in the description below. Now let's take a look at the system requirements. Windows 7 or above, OpenGL 4.5 or Vulkan 1.1, at least four gigs of RAM, but eight gigs are recommended, and you must have Microsoft Visual C++. For the graphic card compatibility, NVIDIA works and AMD works, and an Intel GPU will require Vulkan. Now if we scroll down, you'll see download latest version as the recording of this video is 1.21.5. Let's go ahead and download. Once it's finished, let's open the file. We can exit out of our browser and I'm just gonna drag it to my desktop. Exit out. Now let's open the folder and select your emulator. Now when opening this emulator for the first time, you may see this message, Windows protected your PC. All you wanna do is click on more info and run anyway. If you haven't already, go ahead and create a folder on your computer or your external hard drive of where you're gonna be keeping all of your Wii U games, DLCs, and save files. Once you've done that, Go ahead right here where it says custom MLC01 path. Go ahead and browse and locate that folder. And you wanna do the same thing for your game path. I've created a folder on my external hard drive called Wii U. Select folder. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and select download community graphic packs. Now it's given us the option to map out our controller. So let's go ahead and click on configure input. I'm gonna be using the Xbox One controller with this emulator. So under controller API, by default is keyboard. We wanna change this to XI input for Xbox One controllers. Emulate controller. The Wii U required you to use a gamepad to start your games. So you wanna make sure your first controller is set on Wii U gamepad. Under controller, make sure that's controller one. Now to map out your buttons, all you wanna do is come down here, select the button you wanna map out. So I'm gonna start with the A button, select the box, and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be the A button. And it's gonna go right down the line for you. So next it wants to know which button is the B button, X button, Y button, and so on. And if you guys don't recall what a Wii U gamepad looks like, here's a picture. Once you're done setting your controls up, go up to profile and type in your name. I'm just gonna type UCG for your casual gamer and hit save. And then you can exit out and close. And your games are gonna load in. Let's make this full screen. Now I already had games installed inside of that gamepad folder, the Wii U folder, but in case you guys didn't have games installed in that folder and you just downloaded some and you moved them into that folder to locate them, all you would do is come up to file, load, and just locate wherever your games are stored. For some games you may have updates and DLC downloaded for, to install that you want to come up to file, install game title, update, or DLC. Locate wherever the files are. We're gonna go ahead and load up Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC. Select the file, select meta, meta, and your DLC should start installing. And this may take a while. When it's done, it's gonna say title installed, click okay. And now if we look in the DMC column, Next to Breath of the Wild, we have an 80, which means our DLC is installed. Now we have to install our update, so let's go back up to File, Install Game Title Update or DLC, and we wanna do the same thing, except this time, we're gonna look for the update file. You wanna select Meta again, and Meta and your update is gonna start installing. And when that's done, it's also gonna say title install, click okay. Now if we look over here on the version, 
we can see that Breath of the Wild went from zero to 208. That means we have all of our updates installed. Now let's go up to options and select general settings. Under general, the only thing we need to change is uncheck discord presence. Now let's go over to graphics and we're gonna change our graphics API to Vulcan. Lately, Vulcan has been improving and it runs a lot of games really well, but if you find your games are still not running well with Vulcan, you can always change this back to OpenGL. VSync, we're gonna leave this off, but if your games are experiencing screen tear, then you must turn this on. Upscale filter, we're gonna switch this to bilinear. Downscale filter, leave it on bilinear. And full screen scaling, keep aspect ratio. Under audio, you want to change the API to X Audio 2. And if you experienced any audio problems in your game, you want to turn your latency up to around 60 milliseconds. If not, just leave it on 24. Under gamepad, you want to select primary sound driver and you want to turn the volume up to about 50%. There we go. Now overlay. If you would like to see your FPS when playing, make sure you have FPS checked and you can select where on the screen your FPS will be displayed and you can also select the color that it will be shown in. Your notifications, where would you like for your notifications to be shown on screen and the color of your notifications. And your notifications will be controller profiles, shader compiler and friends list in case you're using the online features. If we go over to account, you can create a second account for this emulator in case someone else wants to use it. Just to let you guys know, the second account will not carry over the same settings that your account has. And under debug, just leave this disabled and we can go ahead and exit out. Since we're going to be using the Vulcan API, you want to come up here to debug, experimental and select async compile. This will reduce the amount of stutter in your game. And guys, you also want to make sure you have your GPU drivers up to date. This will give you the best experience. Now I'm going to show you guys how to edit graphic packs. So let's come back down here to Breath of the Wild, right click and go up to edit graphic packs. Now, if this box is empty, you want to come down here to download latest community graphic packs, but we're good. We have enhancements, graphics, mods, and workarounds. Let's start from the top. Enhancements, you want to select no depth of field. For graphics, you want to select resolution. And let's upscale this from 720 to 1920 by 1080. If you have a 1440p or 4K monitor, you can go higher. And we want to select shadow resolution. Under mods, you want to click on FPS plus plus, and you want to check all four of these boxes. And under set FPS limit, by default it's gonna go to 60 frames per second. If you experience any crashes in your game or if your game crashes during the cutscenes, you wanna change this to 30 frames and that should solve this problem. Come down to workarounds, click on GPU specific workarounds. And the only one we're gonna check here since we're using Vulkan is Grassway and Vulkan. If you're using OpenGL, you wanna click these bottom two. Let's go ahead and exit out. Now there's one more thing we need to do. Let's go back to Breath of the Wild again and right click on it and select Edit Game Profile. Now if your CPU has four cores or more, you wanna change the mode to Triple Core Recompiler. Now if your CPU is only two cores, you wanna select Single Core Recompiler. I have four cores, I'm gonna select Triple Core Recompiler and you wanna max your thread out. Select the highest number, and now you're good to go. Exit out. Okay, so the reason I showed you guys how to set up the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is because a lot of people that's going to be using Simu will want to play the Breath of the Wild. So I decided to show you guys the best settings that will give you guys the best experience possible using this emulator. Now, I won't be able to load this game up and show you guys gameplay because of copyright issues. So I'm going to have to load up a game that's not made by Nintendo. And I'm going to have to load up Need for Speed Most Wanted U. Now, just to show you guys what I'm working with, if I right click on that game and go to Edit Graphic Packs 
It doesn't have nowhere near the graphic packs that Breath of the Wild has. It only has one, which is resolution, and I bumped that up to 1920 by 1080. And I have the edit game profile at triple core recompiler threads maxed out. Let's go ahead and load up Need for Speed, Most Wanted You. All right, here I am in the game and my controls are working and the game looks great. There is some graphical issues with this game. As you can see, the trees are white, but other than that, everything is running smooth and it looks good.